at first when Cross TV visited the area, children from the two communities were taking lessons in a makeshift classes with residents calling on the relevant authorities to come to their aid. Residents of the two communities of Wawiya and Walawal are suffering absence of social amenities, especially schools, roads, and water shortage. Residents of Wawiya and Walawal are lucky as the Kazmastad Primary Education Board heeds to their calls. How are you? Yeah, At a visit to the area, the chairman Lawal Buhari Dawra gave assurances that the board will construct classes and provide teachers. You have seen the number of children that are here that, that are not going to the school. And always we are fighting against children not going to school. You have to do with out of school children. We are always fighting on it. And that is why we are trying always to. You can see even the class that they are in now is locally made. Of which, with time, we are going to find a land for them. And I assure them, inshallah, we are going to construct a class for them. Similarly, the senator representing Katsuna North at the National Assembly, Ahmad Babakita, is constructing a block of two classrooms for the villagers. This means the communities can now boast of having at least a primary school as dividend of democracy since its return in 1999. <laughs> We sincerely appreciate this TV station for coming to our rescue, which, through your reportage, we are now considered for at least one primary school for our children. The number of school-aged children from these communities is unprecedented. We thank God. In the same vein, the construction of the primary school will greatly reduce the menace of out-of-school children bedeviling the state and the country as a whole. Abdullahi Ismail Amadi, Trust Television News, Kazana.